Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week we're doing our Oracle card reading and I'm going to be using the 360 Degrees of Wisdom, your Sabian Oracle cards by um, Linda Hill. So I have the booklet here. I'm going to read the messages out to you and then give you my own interpretation of it. And I'm going to use my own cards because I've actually mislaid the cards for this book. And here I have the Isis Oracle um, by Alana Fairchild. So I'm going to give you a message from the Oracle as well. So go ahead and choose um, one of three options. So it's like either one, number one, number two, or number three, and feel which one resonates with you. And I'm gonna go ahead and begin with the number one. Before I do, I just wanna say a huge big thank you uh, for, to all those people who've commented, to all the people who've sent in your entries uh, for the giveaway. And if the um, website contact form is not working, uh, it doesn't work on all the browsers, so I noticed that on Safari it wouldn't work, but on Chrome it would work, and on Firefox it, it can work, but sometimes it doesn't. So unfortunately, um, I'm not able to do anything about it immediately, but um, if you find that the contact form in the website is not working, then please email me directly at info at kismetrising.com. Okay, so that's basically the email address which you need to send your entries to. And ideally what you do is send me um, your entries and you would say, you tell me what your YouTube name is uh, so I know who you are and um, you could tell me your name if you wanted to, uh, but you would basically ask me a few questions and that way I can tap into your energy and I'd be able to, uh, when I make the selection, I'll be able to create an audio file and send it to you. And the reason I'm asking you to email me is because I can't upload audio files in the comment section. <laughs> so basically, uh, do come to um, my, my website. I'm not collecting your emails or anything like that. And it's just a once off um, giveaway, basically. All right. Uh, so yes. So go ahead, make your choice. Um, select number one, two or three. And we let's get started. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, we're going to give these cards a shuffle. So these are this my my version of the Sabian Oracle cards. In fact, I've actually lost the uh, original, so I've just made my own. And they're basically cards which are of, uh, from zero to 30, and it's the degrees. And here are the astrological signs, okay? So I'm gonna give these cards a little shuffle. And um, and then what I will do is I will read from this book here uh, the me the, the the message that's corresponding to the to to the degree and the the star sign so to your sapien symbol basically so let's go ahead and for those of you who've chosen the option number one um, let's see what is your sapien symbol. Okay, so I've gotten Scorpio here. Oops, this has come out, but I'm just going to put it back in and see what else comes out. I think it's Scorpio 23 that feels right. And we're going to take a card from here. This is your Isil, the Isis uh, Oracle by Alana Fairchild. So what is it that those who've chosen the option number one need to know this week? And that is it. Okay, so the card we have here is Serpent of Fire. Princess of the Serpent Sisterhood. So I'm going to go ahead and read the message from the Scorpio, uh, from, the, from the book here for Scorpio 23. So what we have is um, a rabbit metaf metamorphosed into a nature spirit. So uh, apologies if I'm pronouncing that incorrectly, but it, the, the Sabian symbol for the, those of you who've chosen the option number one is a rabbit metamorphosed into a nature spirit all right so i'm just going to give do the quick a quick read here of what i think is relevant and then i'm going to go ahead and give you my opinion or what i'm feeling with regard to this so the commentary is a rabbit 
um, metamorphosed into a nature spirit is a rather strange image that seems rather fantastic at first. The rabbit is very changing in its in the rabbit is changing its very nature. It is somehow morphing into a different being, a nature spirit. The rabbit has gone from using its baser animal or sexual instincts into living as a more spiritual being. When something metamorphoses, there is usually a change of appearance and the way of behaving or being, but it is still the same being at a core level, just operating on a different plane of expression. So I just feel that this is so relevant right now because uh, we add you know we've just we've just in the solstice stage on the solstice period it's the 22nd of december that i'm shooting this and uh you will be feeling something you know if you're in the southern hemisphere you 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 would have just had your summer solstice if you're in the northern hemisphere you would have just experienced your winter solstice and you know the solstices are times of when the veil is supposed to be thinner and i don't always feel this but um yesterday I literally could see and feel the spirits all around during this time and I knew that the veil was thinner. And what you might have felt is um, something that urged you to change your perspective. All right, so you might have had an experience where uh, something came to your attention which brought you to a new understanding of your situation. And this card, or this Sabian symbol here, is basically talking about changing from from an aspect of yourself to another aspect of yourself. So in the energy forecast I uh, uploaded recently, I talked about shifting uh, the vibration, shifting the vibration. And this card is actually talking about exactly that. You might have been called to shift your vibration. And the way in which to do this is to respond to something or to look at something in your life or to experience your life, not just on a physical or reactionary level, but to experience it on a spiritual level. So actually this time and this energy is calling you to go inside and talk about or feel what it is that is right for you. Feel what it is that is speaking to you at this moment. Because that metamorphosis that's going to occur inside of you is simply you moving from one level of attention or consciousness to another level of your consciousness. So it's not you're not changing into something else. You remain the same and you're not you're not really changing into something else. You're simply changing a perspective that you have you know it's like changing your lens or changing the way in which you look at something looking at it um with a microscope instead of with a telescope and basically it's just a different perspective okay and this different perspective is going to give you a lot of insight and a lot of wisdom because you're going to be able to um touch on the spiritual aspect of you you're going to become more into your core now one of the energies that i'm speaking up with this um Scorpio 23, is that that part of you which is living in this world, that physical manifestation of you, is a certain vibration. And you might find that as you go deeper and deeper into your spirit aspect, that your spirit may take you on a journey in a different direction, a direction or in a vibration that you didn't know existed and that you don't know is a part of yourself. So if you are feeling a bit strange or a bit uh, out of touch this week or during this time, uh, remember that just, just to go with that flow and just to feel what that is showing you and what that's saying to you. And don't be so surprised and don't be, um, don't take a step back or be alarmed if it's something that's a bit foreign uh, to you or if it's something that you don't understand about yourself or it's something that you don't recognize about yourself because this energy here is basically taking you on a journey into your spirit. And your spirit has many, many facets. Okay, so I always, when people talk, when we, I talk about this, I always use the same example. I say, your spirit is like a disco ball, you know, and all these little mirrors are on a disco ball. It's like the various different facets that you have, but it's an infinite amount of facets. So your soul is not basically one um, version of yourself. Your physical manifestation, your personality, your character is one version of yourself. And this, um, this week, what you might find is uh, the message for this week is that when you step away from that physical manifestation of you, you will basically find that stepping into a, um, a spiritual vibration breaks down the boundaries that you might have created or upheld in your physical manifestation. And it may take you on a journey which may surprise you, but may also be quite interesting for you. So it might be, it might hold some intrigue for you. So that is your message for the 
as far as your Sabian symbol is concerned for this week. Now, the message that you have here is um, the serpent of fire, and it re the caption reads, Priestess of the Serpent Sisterhood. So I would just like to read from the book here, just the caption uh, for what Alana Fairchild offers here. Uh, for the uh, for this particular card because I feel it's very much in resonance with what I was with with what I feel at this moment. So it says here, uh, priestess of the serpent sisterhood, Isis, priestess of the serpent sisterhood, and queen of the serpent of fire, guides you through transformation now as your energy field grows stronger and all energies are burned away in the process of your growth. Trust that you are growing and are more capable than you've been previously. Do not assess your current ability based on past standards, as they no longer apply to you. You are stronger and more powerful now than you have been before. You need to learn afresh what you are capable of, and Isis helps you now. So that is one of the captions for for the um, from the book itself by Lana Fairchild. And what I'm feeling here is that when you step into this uh, dimension of spirit, Okay, uh, which this card or this Sabian symbol here is referring to, you're going to be uh, burning through a lot. You're going to be looking through a lot. And part of releasing or um, allowing those boundaries that you've had as a character or as an ego to actually fall to the floor is actually part of the, the function of being in the spirit. So one of the other things that I'm feeling here is that you may have been having some strange out there dreams recently, or you may be remembering your dreams more often than you usually do. But take note of that and see what's coming up for you. Are you dreaming more about elements or are you dreaming more about people? And if you're dreaming more about people, recognize that this is the time in which a lot of healing is taking place on a subconscious level or on a on an unconscious level with regard to the relationships that you may have had. So you may be dreaming about people that you met in the past or you've had relationships with in the past, any kind of relationship. It may it be a love relationship or a work relationship, any kind of professional relationship. And it's almost like this energy here is talking about tying up things. This energy talks about going on a journey and this energy talks about as you're going on that journey, tying up things. So it's about burning that which you don't need in your life anymore. It's not about burning bridges. It's about tying up loose ends and preparing you for something um, that is a contained and uh, secure aspect of yourself. So it's about grounding you in a spiritual level and bringing you on a journey in which you can understand yourself better and understand those relationships better. So don't be as surprised if you have some strange dreams um, that that you know that you have to, during this week or if you've already started having that now the other thing which was mentioned already as i read um from the alana fairchild excerpt is that you will have a great deal of power during this time and it will be interesting for you to be to watch and observe how you use it or how it plays out in your life this may also play out in 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 a term in terms of rage so you may blast out uh, or may become really angry and uh, express yourself in in a in a in not an aggressive fashion but on a in a very angry fashion and and this is something that is one of the I would say the side effects of this kind of energy or one of the things that of how this this energy can manifest and so note this about yourself and you know perhaps you could watch as you're going down that level and if you are in an outburst and you can't control it then recognize why you needed to be there because that is where your key is and that is where your jewels are this week from where you are, you are angry and you cannot um, uh, accept something anymore and I spoke a lot about that in the energy forecast once again it's about this huge energy and this is how it's impacting you this week so if you are angry about something and if you understand and you need to lash out um, you may feel bad about lashing out and you may feel uh, sorry that you did so, but recognize that there's something really important uh, underneath that. There's a reason that you did that. And don't um, feel guilt because you, you've done that, you, you know, or you couldn't hold back your anger. Listen carefully to what that message is underneath all of that. So I hope that's been useful for you. And I thank you very much for coming by. I wish you all a Merry Christmas if you celebrate that. Or uh, I, I wish you all a very beautiful uh, solstice period. I know the solstice is just past, but I feel like we're still in that energy. And we can do so much at this time with this energy. And it's really a beautiful 
period. So good luck to all of you and I hope you have a fabulous holiday season. Okay, so until next week and I'm going to move on now to those of you who've um, chosen the option number two. So for those of you who've chosen the option uh, number two, what is your message and what is your Sabian symbol for this week and what is your Oracle card message for this week? So we're going to go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. Okay, I feel it's this one. So I like to use the Sabian symbol oracle cards when there is a solstice or when there is an important um, eclipse or a, a supermoon. Um, I like to, to use these uh, cards during that stage. I recognize that they are not that popular on this channel, but I, uh, I feel that they have a lot of meaning and many layers of meaning that my channeling doesn't necessarily bring to this channel. And therefore, I think that sometimes it's useful to have these, uh, to use these cards. So what is the option number two? What is the Sabian symbol for the option number two? I think it's this one here. There we are. Virgo 10. Okay, we're going to go ahead and choose a card from the Isis Oracle here. What is your Oracle card message for this week? And it's Temple of Carnelian. Entering the fierce belly of Sekhmet. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read from uh, Linda Hill's uh, 360 Degrees of Wisdom uh, book here. And I'm going to find Virgo 10. And it basically gives me two heads looking out and beyond the shadows. So it reads, two heads looking out and beyond the shadows is a symbol of duality of thought and observation. This symbol shows people looking at each other from a shadowy, hidden perspective as though they are checking each other out. The two heads can illustrate groups of people having different perspectives or occupying different camps, looking out and trying to understand or investigate what the other is doing. All right, so I want to just channel a message to, through to you. I feel like the messages from the books uh, and the, the, the creator of these cards and and these books are their messages are very much in alignment with my message for you this week, especially for the first option as well as for your option here. And um, yes, I feel that this could be a week where um, you may feel a little bit tense, or you may feel uh, a little bit withdrawn, or a little bit uh, conservative in how you go about interacting. So if you are normally a quite an uh, an outgoing type of person. You might feel that this week you feel like you need to pull back a little bit or you need to be uh, a little bit more circumspect in what you're sharing and what you're not sharing. You may choose uh, not to attend events. You may choose not to um, go uh, uh, to um, dinners or any kind of event that you've been invited to, which is usually a tradition for you. You may choose not to do that this, this week because you know that... Uh, the, the time and space that you will share with those that you uh, will to whom you will share this this event or be a participant at this event will actually be more diminishing to for you than it will be um, a, a beautiful experience uh, of the celebration of uh, certain traditions for you. So you may feel like avoiding people. You may feel like it's better to avoid because you're afraid that you might talk out of turn or you might actually share something that you don't really want to share with people. For those of you who go ahead and actually attend these events or participate with in these activities with other people, you might find that you feel quite a tension between yourself and others or it highlights uh, how far you've grown from those that you're spending this time with or how different you are or what your differences are and how your thinking has changed in the meanwhile. And you may look at um, others or observe others or think about others in a manner which you haven't thought about them before. It might be a surprise to you the way in which you consider 
your family or your friends or whoever it is that you are planning to spend time with because you have grown so far. You may also feel the distance between you and those people and feel a bit of sadness with regard to that. But I also feel that you're uh, you could just go along because it's an, it's an important part of tradition and you feel that um, it is necessary for you to do this and you could feel quite rigid in going about and doing that and that could actually cause you a degree of uh, frustration within yourself. So if you're feeling a degree of frustration within yourself and a feeling of attention or feeling a bit um, yeah, stressed or tense or not as free and when you uh, come home from these occasions uh, or you release yourself from these occasions you feel a degree of freedom like a huge weight being lifted off your shoulders if you are feeling these kind of things then note that that is the energy that is expected during this week it's a time for you to understand truly who you are and who others are around you and how they can support you and what it is that they are actually um, what is their role in your life exactly Okay, so with the Temple of Carnelian entering the fierce belly of Sekhmet, the card here that um, that is given for you basically talks to me about how you are gathering a strength. So this card is referring to the tension that you may feel on the outside of you. But this one talks about the strength that's building up inside of you. And it's almost like this fire that's building up inside of you. And it's a, it's a fire that's just starting up or it's something, it's something, it's just gaining ground right now. But as you go along, it's going to grow and get great, become greater and greater. And it's bringing a power that's from inside of you out of you. And this power is something that might, may also surprise you. So I just feel there's a little bit of surprise to all of this. Like it's not as if you're not accepting it, but it still is a, and there's an element of surprise. And this uh, is talking about almost working with that energy that you'll be experiencing here. So this is an energy of strengthening yourself and securing yourself and also um, protecting yourself from what you could be experiencing here. So when you're in this situation and you're in tension and you are giving in, you're going to those occasions which you don't feel comfortable in or you're attending events where you feel out of place and you are very much aware of the big, uh, the wide gap between you and those people present, the way in which to deal with this energy, this tension that you're experiencing on the outside is to build your strength on the inside and to show up your energy and to really focus on that energy that's building inside of you and what that energy means for you or how is it that this energy is uh, is relevant to you at this moment and what it really means for you to be you with you not in terms of how you're received by people or what your accolades are or what your status is or what your gender is or your your race or nationality or anything like this but this is talking about the pure fire that burns within you and what is it that it speaks to you about okay I do want to go ahead and read the excerpt from um, Alana Fairchild's um, book here. So I'm just going to look for that quickly. Okay, in this book here, we have the Temple of Carnelian entering the fierce belly of Sekhmet. I'm just going to read that to you, okay? So it says, you have such strength within you. It is time to trust in your own boldness and courage, taking risks that feel true to your heart and engaging in practices that make you feel truly and genuinely alive, embodied and more of yourself even if not always comfortable, are going to help you to live the life you were born to live. So this is the tension that's being spoken about in the Sabian symbol. Yeah, it's talking about this tension between what you are and what you expect it to be and how you relate to people around you. Because if, if you're in a process of transformation, what happens is that you change, but it's not always necessary that people around you are going to change. And so you may find yourself completely changed, but in the same company of other people. And other people have that expectation of you, the old you, the one that's not yet transformed. Um, and you may feel tension or a little bit of discomfort um, or awkwardness around these people because you expect it to respond a certain way, but you feel more evolved or you just feel like you, you're a different person now. So you just don't respond in that way. And this card here and this energy here is helping you to actually balance that out and not feel so awkward and actually feel that power within you and understanding that you have a right to feel that, that you have actually, it's your purpose to feel this power within you. It's your right and your purpose and the most important thing for you to actually just feel who it is that you really are and to be able to embrace a life in which you truly live 
exactly as you wish to live and be as real as you can be. So I hope that message has been useful for you this week, uh, for those of you who have chosen number two. And um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and move into the option number three. And I just want to wish you a fantastic uh, Christmas as you go ahead, or if you're doing any other kind of rituals, um, I hope you're still enjoying the, the solstice energies, and I hope you are able to make good use of it, and I'm wishing you a lovely week ahead, and I hope you are able to overcome some of these challenges that are presented in these cards, so I'm wishing all of you from the option number two a really good week. And for those of you who are chosen the option number three, we're going to be asking, um, what is it that you need to know at this moment as the week goes ahead? So what is your Sabian symbol that represents this week? Okay, we have Cancer. Oops. And we have the number 27. And here, this is the Isis Oracle. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards and ask, what is your, what is the energy that you need to be aware of during this week? Okay. Okay, we have truth is, truths unveiled, the revelation of Isis. Okay, so the truths unveiled. So as I've done for the other uh, readings, I'm going to go ahead and read an excerpt from the, the for the Sabian symbol here um, for Cancer 27. And then I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to read a little bit from, um, uh, from Alana Fairchild's book. And I'm going to give you my own interpretation of it. So the, the Sabian symbol for Cancer 27 is a violent storm in a, in a residential canyon filled with va valuable homes. So it's a, a violent storm in a residential canyon filled with valuable homes. Okay, so um, the commentary reads, a violent storm in a canyon filled with valuable homes shows that a storm has released its fury on those in its path. The weather has been unleashed, sorry, the weather that has been unleashed can reflect actual weather or psychological and emotional conditions. The homes need not be expensive, but are places that are valuable to the occupants. They usually feel protected and safe. Somehow a storm has raged through. Exactly what will happen next may be rather uncertain. So I feel that this is very much connected uh, to the first message that we received, as well as to the, the energies at present from that's come out of the solstice. So some of you might be feeling that and, um, you know, you might have, I've, I've talked in my energy forecast that I uploaded last week uh, about, the, you know, the 26th and the new moon and the solar eclipse and how that's going to bring about something. But you might have noticed that the solar eclipse, um, sorry, not the solar eclipse, but the solstice that we've experienced and we are experiencing these energies as we, uh, as you know, I upload this video, that this actually, this energy is also bringing up something and something that may be quite violent and maybe quite aggressive and it's come bringing up something that we've been ignoring or it's that's been in our blind spot and that we've not been willing to pay attention to so this card is actually talking about that it's talking about it, it can refer to something in the home environment so it can actually refer to you know some disagreement in the home environment or some kind of um um illusion that you've created or you've had in your life and that's been created in your life and that you're finally facing that at this moment and that uh, this kind of um there's a violent truth that thrashes across and opens up something and maybe opening up old wounds it may be opening up something that um 
that you went that you thought you had resolved. So if you are spending time with family in this holiday season, you might find that there are some things that are said or some things that are expressed that are actually just opening up old wounds and tearing them apart. And you feel like you've had a control over this or you feel like you've mastered this already, but it might be bringing you deeper into that. You might have felt that you've recently made a decision around this and that you are on top of this situation, but it almost like tears that decision apart and brings you a new reality. And then you feel like, okay, what is the this you, you really what am um, what is it you know and so it might be as the the sabian symbol speaks um there's something of value that is lost in this there's something of value that needs to be sacrificed in order to be able to move ahead and to be able to create something that's good in your life so it's, it might be something that you feel that you cannot sacrifice and you might have been under that illusion for a long long time you've been saying to yourself i cannot sacrifice this this is really important for me and this is an integral part of the decision making as i move forward but it's as if that has been torn apart and now you're saying okay well that's not an option anymore so how do i go forth now and might be bringing you back to a sense of freedom that you might have experienced previously and so it's almost as if the slate is being wiped, wiped clean here by this violent storm energies that are, are being expressed and i feel this has got to do very much with um with bringing endings in a home environment okay or bringing endings as far as family relationships are concerned so feel what that means for you you know for some of you it might be that something's been going on for a while already but only now it, it is that you come to a realization about what it is so it might be that you know you you perhaps have an ex a partner who has um moved on and they have a new girlfriend or new boyfriend and it's only now that you realize oh they have really actually moved on and this is what it means that they've actually to to witness that they've actually moved on, that they're not a part of my life anymore, that um, they're not a part of these traditions anymore. And this is what it means right now. So it feels like those things that are valuable to you, that are hold, well, that's what the, the card says as well, but um, those things that you hold dear to you are destroyed and then you are almost free to to decide what it is that you want right now. And with this freedom, you can choose to... Um, just be it's very sad about it and be quite, um, you know, quite distressed about it. Or you can choose to look at it and say, okay, I've wiped the, sl the slate has been wiped clean for me. How do I respond to the situation? Can I make something good from this life? Or am I going to stay in a state or, or enjoy a state where I feel sorry for myself? I'm not going to do anything good about it. And I'm actually going to struggle through this. And of course, if you are feeling difficulty, if you're feeling pain, that is important to actually feel that, but not to dwell in it, not to stay in it for too long, not to make it your preoccupation. So um, you may feel like some of you may actually experience that. And this card says the same thing, you yeah? know, for me, truths unveil the revelation of Isis. So it's almost like there's two meanings to this card as far as this this. Uh, sabian symbol is concerned one of the meanings is exactly what i've spoken right now that there may be something that will come to the fore in which you will not have been expecting or you might have known about like so in terms of this violent storm it might be that you've been warned about the storm or you've been seeing it seeing it coming but right now is th this week is when it kind of hits home and when it real when you realize the real impact of it as far as your being is concerned and what is important for you and and how, and that leaves you um, with a new slate or a slate that's wiped clean or something that's really valuable to you that's been destroyed and now you've got to clean that slate, okay? So it might have left you in that situation. The other meaning for this card here is that um, with this truth that's being unveiled is a kind of... Um, it's almost like there's a, a fog that's lifting or an eclipse that's passing and... Um, and you can see something for what it really is. It's like there's an illusion that's been there the whole time and you believe that this is the way it is. And something's come in and said, taken that those rose-colored glasses away or whatever shades you've been wearing that's been um, keeping you separate from the reality. And it's saying, well, this is the reality and there's power in this reality. There's power in this truth and there's something here that is huge and there's something here that is has to be faced, right? So it's not like, um, yeah, okay, there's this truth and well, I'm going to have to like just work through that. It's saying, well, there's this truth. I've announced myself. I'm here 
And what are you going to do with me right now? And there's a certain responsibility that comes along with that, that you need to take. Like, there are some decisions that need to be made with that. There is a course of action that needs to be determined so that you can clean up this pl this mess that this energy here is causing during this week. So um, use that to your advantage. You know, you can use that energy and let it fuel you as you go along and you need not uh, be dragged down by it it you know it could be it might feel like a um uh, like a rip current that's pulling you really hard away from the shore and it's it's as if you instead of fighting it you need to just relax in it float in it allow the wave to pull you out to sea and look at things as they are and when you catch that break that's when you can swim back to the shore and but in that there's a great amount of power you know as a rip current forces you out to sea. There's this power that comes with the truth being uh, unveiled. And it's this, um, it, it it's about just basically feeling it and going with it for the moment and letting it take you to where you need to go to in order to be able to exp uh, to understand the truth and to be able to accept that truth in your life. I wanted to just go ahead and read what Alana Fairchild has to say with the truths unveiled and what we have here is the revelation of Isis. And I'm going to just read this excerpt here. It says, There are times when appearances of people, places, and things are truly deceptive. You will sense this when something feels uncomfortable within you, when you notice feelings of anxiety or doubt within you. You may think there is something wrong with you, but actually you are intuitively sensing that all is not as it appears to be. It is wise to trust your inner feeling rather than being convinced by outward appearance. There is a situation in your life, especially involving relationships, where something is not as it's made out to be. To avoid undue suffering later on, Isis guides you to truth and revelation now. Okay, so, you know, I've just been feeling, uh, from the time I, I understood the energy of the Sabian, from the time I read the Sabian symbol, and I felt the energy of it, and then I recognized this card next to it. I knew that this has so much to do with relationships. And this is something that has been confirmed by that excerpt there. So I have mentioned this already, but I just want to reiterate that one of the ways in which you might be experiencing this is that, you know, somebody in your close environment, like your home environment, has been lying to you about something or, or presenting something in a little bit of a different light or you may have felt that this person who's actually moved on is still there for you and they may be giving you the feeling that they're there for you but they've actually moved on and this this week you're going to find out that they have actually moved on and this is going to cause you a, a great deal of sadness and distress and it's something that you will um have to work with to come to terms with so that's just one way i'm not trying to scare you guys but that's just one way in which this energy is going to express itself and for those of you it's not going to be a shock right it's going to be something that you kind of know already that this person's moved on but um you realize that what that really means for you during this week and this is such a strong energy that's coming from this third option here so if that doesn't resonate with you then please take the rest of what i've said as far as the meaning of this card is concerned and work with that and that what i've just given you now is kind of example which i expect to take place um for some of you this week in fact i feel so certain that that's going to be a reality for some of you this week and um I hope that, you know, you are able to work with this this energy and allow it to fuel you as opposed to drown you or as opposed to, you know, get sucked into it uh, and, and take you in a different trajectory. So work with that. And um, yeah, I hope that you are able to to see how you can stay buoyant in this in this in this energy. And um, yeah, that's your message for this week here. So I wish you all a Merry Christmas and I hope that you are going to have a good week ahead and that these messages have actually been of use to you and are going to be helpful and help you prepare for what's ahead. So yes, many holiday um, and season blessings to you all and much love to all of you who've come by today and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.